Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to talk about how to calculate the standard uh, uh, Gibbs free energy for a reaction. And so the way we're going to do this is uh, you're going to use this equation here. So you have the standard Gibbs free energy of a reaction is equal to the standard enthalpy of the reaction minus the temperature uh, in Kelvin multiplied by the standard entropy of the reaction. And so <clears throat> to find uh, the standard enthalpy of the reaction and standard entropy of the reaction, you can use the equations of the, the sum of the products minus the sum of the reactants gives you the, that delta H or delta S. Um, so what you need to know, so if we do delta H, so the standard uh, enthalpy of the reaction is going to be the sum of the products minus the sum of the uh, reactants. Okay. Uh, so you need to look up the delta H's, the, the standard enthalpies for each of these. Um, so SO2, uh, if we look it up, uh, SO2 is negative 296.8. So that's negative 296.8. Our oxygen is zero and SO3 is negative 395.7 negative 390 what was that negative 395.7 395.7 and this is in kilojoules per mole so this is in kilojoules per mole and kilojoules per mole and this is zero kilojoules per mole okay so then what we do is we plug it into this equation. So this is going to be equal to, so the products first. So the product here is, uh, it's going to be the number, the stoichiometric amount. So that's a one. So one times negative 395.7. Uh, and that's the only product. So minus... And then the reactants, we have SO2, so we have one SO2, so one times, and then the uh, delta H, or the uh, heat, uh, standard heat of formation, so that's going to be uh, negative 296, negative 296.8, minus, and then this is zero, so it'll be like one half times zero which is zero. Uh, so then <clears throat> this would be equal to uh, whatever this comes to. You would calculate it out and it would come to negative 98.6. So negative 98.6 kilojoules per mole. So that's the delta H of the reaction. And then you could do the same thing. It's a, pretty much the exact same equation except for instead of delta, uh, change in enthalpy you're doing standard uh, enthalpy or entropy of the reaction is equal to the same same uh, equation uh, except uh, instead of this should be delta H so this would be um, this should be standard uh, heats so this is standard heats of formation that we're using standard heats of formation of products minus reactants and the only difference here is that instead of standard heats of formation you're using uh, standard en entropies so you have to look up the standard entropies in the tables um, <clears throat> and so when you look that up uh, for SO2 gas it's 248.2 so that would be 248.2 joules per kelvin 
for oxygen, it's 205.2. So oxygen, it was 205.2. And then for SO3, it's uh, 256.8. So 256.8. And again, that's uh, uh, joules per Kelvin. Joules per Kelvin. And so, again, what you do is you plug everything into the equation. So it's going to sum of the products. So here, the sum of the products is going to be Okay, so uh, here SO3. So SO3 is 256.8. So again, 1 times 256.8. That's the only product we have minus the reactants. Uh, and then we have SO2. SO2 is going to be, we have one of those. So it's 1 times uh, 248.2, 48.2 plus, oh, this should be a plus, sorry. <clears throat> um, and then for oxygen, it's 205, so we have one half, one half of the oxygen, so 205.2, 205.2. And then again, all you do is you calculate it out, and when you do that, you calculate uh, negative 94.0 so this is negative 94.0 joules per Kelvin and then at this point once you've got your Delta H of the reaction your standard entropy of the reaction your standard entropy of the reaction now you can plug these two into the equation here with the uh, temperature and the temperature that we have is at 25 degrees Celsius. So that's the temperature. So temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 298 Kelvin. So now we can plug everything in. So standard, oops, the change in the standard <clears throat> gives free energy of the reaction is equal to uh, delta H, right? So delta H, standard enthalpy of the reaction minus temperature times the standard, uh, standard entropy of the reaction. And so now we plug everything in. So this is going to be negative 98,600 joules per mole. I, uh, Converted this into joules because this is in joules. And then uh, this is going to be minus 298 Kelvin multiplied by, uh, and then we have uh, the standard entropy. So negative 94.0 joules per Kelvin. Kelvin cancels out. And then when you add these together, you get negative 70.9 times 10 to the third. 70.9 times 10 to the third joules or 70.9 uh, kilojoules. So that would be... Let me double check to make sure. Oh, that should be negative. That's negative. And so negative 90.70.9 uh, kilojoules. So that means that it is spontaneous because the standard uh, change in Gibbs free energy is negative. Okay. Uh, so that's part one or problem one. Let's look at problem two. Actually, I think. I'm going to stop there for this video. Um, I think that should be clear enough on how to do this. It's basically the same thing. Um, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, if you uh, got a lot from it, if, if this was helpful, uh, please uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, 
and uh, write a comment in, down in the comment section. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.